Hey all, Sean here from Tesla Family. With software update 2022.36, Tesla gave us the Energy app. The Energy app within my Tesla's touchscreen shows you in incredible detail how all the battery energy in my car is used. The high voltage battery in a Tesla is not only used for driving, it powers many other functions in the car as well, including most of the electronics, the climate, which keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. It even powers the Sentry security system to monitor your car when it's parked. An electric vehicle is always on. It's winter time here in Maryland. Let's take a look at how far I drove on a recent charge and use the Tesla Energy app to see what other functions really drain my battery. Okay, moving inside my Model 3 to my center screen here, we can see here on the lower left the return of the cards feature brought us back the ability to show trip data, including my current drive data, since last charge, and then I keep a log of my lifetime trip data, and then my odometer. Also, I wanted to talk to you about Tesla's new Energy app. In the Energy app, we can see detailed information on how much of my battery was consumed since the last charge and which different functions in here were using that amount of charge. Right now we're sitting at 5% battery charge in my Model 3. I started at 80%. So I have used 75% of my battery and I've gone 118 miles. There are two separate tabs in the Energy app, Drive and Park. The amount of energy I've used while in Drive since my last charge was 59.2% of my consumption. And it is winter here. January 2023, we can see that we're using a lot of climate, 16% more than the estimated vehicle consumption. One of the reasons why my Model 3 is likely using a lot of energy here in the winter time is because I have a PTC heater in my older Model 3. It's a 2018 Model 3, and that came with the positive temperature coefficient heater, which is basically a resistor that increases its resistance as it heats up. The newer Model 3s and Model Ys come with a heat pump. The heat pump is much more efficient, using less energy that you can be putting into driving range. So some of the functions here that have used the battery consumption are 30% or almost 31% here has gone to actually driving the car. 21.7% is going to the climate of the vehicle, basically running the heater and the seat warmers. And you can see that's 18.3% more than normal. No battery conditioning. Elevation has taken up 1.7% and everything else 4.9%. In here we see on the right consumption versus rated. Green is good, meaning that we're doing better than the rated range. Orange means we're using more consumption than the rated range. There's also some range tips that we can use and learn about how we can improve our efficiency in future drives. Basically range tips here showing increased climate control activity, air drag, tire drag, and battery conditioning due to cold weather cost 23.2% since you last charged. Decreasing the cabin set temperature by two degrees would have saved about 2%. Also going uphill cost me 18%, but going downhill saved me 16.3% due to regen. More information on the driving energy consumption. Driving energy is energy used to move Model 3 and overcome factors such as wind resistance and tire rolling resistance. Climate energy is energy consumed by the climate control system, and it's rather high because it's winter. I imagine in, on a hot day in the summertime, we're also using a lot of climate. But on average, you can see here that climate usually only consumes around 3% of my battery, the difference being 21.7% minus 18.3%. Battery conditioning is energy consumed to optimize Model 3's battery temperature for all weather conditions. Elevation is energy consumed or gained due to the elevation changes. Everything else is energy consumed to charge personal electronic devices and power onboard computers, lights, audio system, and more. The Energy app also shows us the energy that's used when the car is parked, such as right now. So, since my last charge, 16.8% of my battery consumption has gone to features that my car uses when it's parked. An electric vehicle is always on. So we can see that screen time, such as right now when I'm just sitting in the car, I've used 4.5% 
of my battery to operate the touchscreen. 0% for preconditioning. Cabin overheat protection, nothing. Sentry mode, 4.2%. Nothing for my mobile app. Optimal preconditioning. Optimal, 0% for cabin overheat protection. Optimal mobile app, 0%. Optimal, 0% for summon standby. And 8.1% for vehicle standby. There's also range tips over here. Here are the details for the parked energy consumption. Screen time is the energy used while parked with the touch screen on. Preconditioning is energy used to warm or cool the cabin and the battery when preconditioning has been requested via the mobile app. Cabin overheat protection is energy used to keep the unoccupied cabin from reaching high temperatures, mainly in the summertime. Sentry mode is energy used when sentry mode is active to keep your cameras and sensors on. Mobile app is energy used due to mobile app or third-party app interactions. Summon standby is energy used to keep Model 3 ready for a summon request. And vehicle standby, background energy used to keep Model 3 on standby and ready to drive. So taking a look at my lifetime efficiency over nearly 55,000 miles, I've used 14,401 kilowatt hours to drive the car. So the driving efficiency or the amount of energy used to actually drive those miles turned out to be 262 watt hours per mile. Now that is more than the rated efficiency, which is 240 watt hours per mile. So by showing you the energy app and the trip meter, I wanted to share with you that not all of the energy that's charged into the car goes to driving the car. The actual efficiency for all functions in the car is around 298 watt hours per mile. That difference of 298 watt hours per mile from 262 watt hours per mile is a 12% difference. Thanks for watching the video. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Family Channel for free here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. If you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos and playlists. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Use my referral link when you order Tesla products like Tesla solar roof or solar panels or vehicles and you can earn credits upon activation of your solar system or delivery of your vehicle that you can redeem for awards in the Tesla referral shop. Mm -hmm.